we read a terrible line in Mark chapter 12, verse 34. Everybody who's anybody in Jerusalem has been cross-examining Jesus on that Tuesday before his crucifixion. And every time, every single time, they were given a beautiful, concise and often unique insight into the truth. Jesus opened up new treasures in the scriptures. He told interesting stories and exhibited a fresh and rich way of looking at the most mundane of articles, such as a simple Roman coin. He settled questions that had been unresolved for decades, even centuries, such as the truth of the resurrection of the dead. And we might expect that after all this, the people would be lining up with their questions to put to him. But instead, we read these terrible words in a way. And no man after that durst ask him any question. And no man after that durst ask him any question. We have here at last a man who doesn't teach as the Pharisees taught, but one with authority. What an opportunity to get those difficult questions out of the way and settled once and for all. It's the chance of a lifetime. What would I have asked him? I might mention that situation that is still unresolved, the people with whom we haven't spoken to for a number of years because of the words that were exchanged. No, on second thoughts, I don't think I'll mention that. He might tell me something that I don't like. I could mention to him the few savings that I've accrued over the years, but I do have my own ideas about them. I'd sooner spend or invest them first and then mention it to him, a sort of fate accompli. I could ask him to heal me and restore my energy. I smile, thinking that he'll probably tell me to go to bed earlier. Now I understand those terrible words, and no man after that durst ask him any question. They couldn't stand to hear the truth. We often can't stand to hear the truth. Now here's a friendly question. Am I silent about some things, not because I'm trusting him, but because I'm afraid of hearing what he might say to be me? I shouldn't be. I should never be afraid of what Jesus may say to me.